Good morrow, Stefan. And good morrow to all the noodles out there. Wow. It's been a really long time since I did this. I should practice my jump cuts. Okay, housekeeping. First and foremost, Stefan and I want to know from you, the noodles, what you want to see on Vlog Ramen in 2010. Now, I have a little bit of a confession to make. We created all this hype for an awesome Vlog Ramen in 2010, and we have absolutely nothing planned. Which is why we need to hear your voice. Tell us which aspects of the old Vlog Ramen you loved, tell us which you hated, and tell us all of the cool things that we can do that we haven't even thought of yet. Next order of business, flavor packets. We're still doing the flavor packets thing, and we have a very special guest to help us kick off our first week back. For now, if you want to be a flavor packet, just send us a message on YouTube saying so, and you'll be entered into a random drawing. I am, however, interested in finding a method of choosing the flavor packet that is a little bit less uh, random, so if you have any suggestions for that, let me know. Maybe some sort of competition? Who knows? And now, it's time for the slow motion clip of the week! Breathtaking. So this week, we're taking a look back at 2009. Why look at the past? Why not just focus on the future? It's important to remember where you've been and how you got to be where you are now. It prevents you from making the same mistakes over and over again, and it gives meaning to life. The journey is more important than the destination, as they say. Just remember not to get stuck in the past. So here are the three most important things that happened in my life in 2009. First, I got to drive a 2011 Ford Fiesta around the country for eight months. It made me realize how much I really enjoy traveling, and I hope to do a whole lot more of that in the future. I have tons of footage from my road trip over the summer, and I'll be editing that later for your viewing pleasure. Secondly, YouTube happened. 2009 was the year that the idea of making a living from making videos on the internet became something more than just a pipe dream for me. Granted, I still have a long way to go if I want to be able to sustain myself or someday a family by just making videos for the internet, but the success that I saw in 2009 has made me believe more than ever that it is possible. And third, the occurrence that will undoubtedly have the biggest impact on the rest of my life was the death of my mother. This is a subject that I hope to cover in greater detail in both vlogs and blogs sometime in the future, but it's just so overwhelming to wrap my brain around all of the ways that my life has changed since she died. It's been a little bit over six months now, and sometimes it feels like it hasn't even really sunk in yet. It's, it's really weird. And on that note, Stefan, I will see you tomorrow.